Alright, welcome back everybody. Sorry for rushing at the end there, but this cloister is going to take a bit of time. So what you want is you want to kind of come in here, go up to a switch and drop up to a pedestal and just press the button. And then it will take the picture from one of the four temples. And then you have to come in here and match them up. So I'm going to be using a guide to, because this will just take too long and I don't want to memorize everything. Uh, over here. So just take a look at the picture, if you don't remember. And just follow what I'm doing. Uh, where am I going here? Uh, I went... This one? There we go. Uh, uh, this one. There we go. Yeah, this is just gonna take too long to do. If I had to do it by memory. Alright, so head back into the first chamber. Can't do anything with those. Luckily, you don't have to do it six times, just a few times. Alright, so that's the... another sphere. Or another symbol, sorry. So keep an eye on the symbol. And uh, let's go this one. This one. There we go. Uh, this one. All right. Doing good. That one. That one. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. There we go. Perfect. Uh, oh crap! What else do I got? Oh, uh, the funky green one. So that one's down at the bottom here. Uh, this one. There we go. Not too bad, that worked out pretty well. Alright, so back to the first room. This one's very... You see what I mean? They, they just get more and more tedious as it goes along. Yeah, I'm using that word a lot. Uh, I don't know why, I think I'm just mentally laughing my ass off when I say that. Because it's so ironic. But anyways, let us go. So, almost every one of the red ones are going to be touched. I think every one of the red ones does get touched. Ah, uh, let's go. Uh, Mr. Hangy down? Oh, no, I didn't want to hit that one. Well, that's what happens when you hit the wrong one. I want that one. This one? This one? No, okay, not that one. Okay, I'm hitting, I'm hitting the wrong one. It's a little harder to see from here. That one. This one. This one. Uh, where are we going? Up to here. This one. This one. I'm gonna hit this one. They get a little harder as they go. This one? What the opposite am I missing? Am I missing this one? I am. Alright, that should be it. Is that it? It is it, alright. Sweet, this is going by a lot quicker than I thought. Alright, let's go. So, bottom right, the last one. Oh, that's funky. Funky Go Medina. Or, I, don't know, I don't even know where the hell I got that from. I think that symbol's used in every one of them. <laughs> All right. You still following along, folks? And this one over here should be the last one. And it was. All right. Okay, yeah, I was about to say it's here, yeah. Right. I'm taking the kill at this here, and there's nothing you guys can do about it. There you go. And it pushes us here. I, I don't remember which one I was supposed to. I just I just picked one of them. I just picked a random one. It's not like I know what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I know what I'm doing, but uh, I don't. Like, I remember stuff, but my the detail's not that great. So there we go. We got all the symbols. What's going to happen? Let's find out. Let's play a melody. I wonder if this is a reference to Earthbound at all. I don't really think so, but... Oh well. Alright, let's do this thing. If you'll give me a minute, uh, what you should do is you should equip Berserk Ward and Proof items if you got them. I highly suggest it. Alright, we're back, and we're gonna go find out what happened. It's rather dark and spooky in here. Well, we know what that means. Everybody recognizes the music, of course. Oh, what the hell? Where that? Where the hell? Oh my god! We're being sucked into Mega Man 5! So this is the Spectral Keeper? Sorry, I called the last boss Guardian. I don't know why. I thought that's what he was called, but... So you want to start out uh, with this party? Tita, Titus, Orin, and... Uh, Titus, Orin, and... Yuna? Now you have a trigger command? What will allow you to move, and you can move along the glyphs, and this plays an important strategic role. 
What you want to do is you want to separate everyone so that there's one space in between everybody. There we go. So then you take the most defender and put him in front of the beast because the beast will always have a counter on him. And then you want to cast protect on them and haste. And you want to keep the creature occupied, preoccupied. That's why you want. Ooh, damn that hurt. That's why you kind of want a a berserk ward because he can really damage you. Because if your per character goes berserk, he'll keep attacking. Oh, damn it. So see here here's the I'm just gonna steal from him. Turbo Ether, pretty good. Uh Waka. I think he's immune to all status effects, I'm not positive. If you can actually get one of your all your characters behind him, you'll actually be able to take no hits from the counter attack, and that's pretty cool. Berserk deal. Somebody gets berserk, you'll be able to tell the screen will kind of slowly pan in. Oh, damn! That didn't cause very much. Uh, Lulu. I think it's best Lulu just defend. Reva or heal Kamari. He doesn't have much. Oh. Yeah, this is the other thing. If your character's standing on a mine that goes off, it's instant kill. Just like that. Uh, I think I'm gonna pull Riku in. Lulu? Normally you'd have some time in between, but it didn't give me any time there. See, now she's berserk, so she's gonna attack and she'll probably die. Die slow and horrible death. Uh, Colin Yuna. Get life going. Yeah, those glyphs, you gotta avoid them. Avoid them as much as you can. If Yuna gets berserked, you want to, uh... You want to heal her as quickly as possible. This is where haste comes into effect. I should have had Titus. Oops. I should have had Titus. Ooh, we missed. Should have had Titus haste. Oh, uh, she got some pretty good evade there. I didn't realize she had such good evade. Uh, what the hell? No, I'm gonna save that. Damn! Yeah, okay, she got Berserk. This really slows down Wayne for it. Uh, white Magic and Suna. Get her healed up as quickly as possible. Tidus. Haste Yuna. No, she got berserked. Alright, come on. A little faster. Ah! Don't do shit like that! This is where this battle could really go wrong. So, if you're at a really low level, this will really hurt. Yeah, that hurt pretty bad. See that? Notice the glyphs? They come up as different signs, as different boss numbers. As long as you're not stepping on those, you're good before their turn comes. If you're not stepping on one, or if your turn comes before it, move out of the way.
I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this, but... I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this, but we'll see. Hey, go ahead, Berserk, tell him he's going to go down anyway, see? Oh, come on! I might just fast forward some of those trials. I hate this counter. Uh, good Glyphmon, still not stepping on any. Uh, what the hell, I'll just use a damn high potion. I got frickin' 99 of them. Grand Summon Bahamut? Also another thing, if you summon when the mines show up you won't take any damage. I don't know if that's going to finish him off or not. Oh, so close. Ooh. It caused some damage there. Yeah, I'm a little over time in this one. Yeah, there goes Bahamut. He flies through the air. How hilarious is that? Well, he's almost dead anyways. Alright. It's only another 3,000, so... Oh, he hit walk. Okay. I didn't see what happened there. On. Summon used. And just Thor hammer his ass. I just want the damn overkill. I mean, I could have done it without doing the overkill, but damn, I love seeing that word overkill when you fight a boss. So he's dead. That's probably the second hardest. The boss fights get harder and harder as they go. The hardest boss fight is coming up. It's the next one. Well, it's a pain in the ass. It's a three stage boss fight, and it can really hurt if you're not at a good level. Alright. So there. Yeah. We're at Zanarkin. Yuna. Yuna. We're go get that final Aeon. The Hall of the Final Summon. Yeah, we're gonna go get it. With that stupid bow on your back. Yes. Take it off, please. So yeah, there we go. We are about to get the final Aeon. Well, Yuna's about to get the final Aeon. I'm probably gonna be speeding up the... Uh, what is it? Huh? What do you mean, no final Aeon? What? What the hell are you talking about? 
I'm probably going to speed up that cloister a bit. Not a lot, I'm not going to go like high speed or twice as fast. What's wrong, Yuna? Everyone. We're here! What the hell's going on? What's wrong? Well, uh, I hate to do this to you folks, but you're going to have to wait till the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Bye.